Uh, my name is Zach McAllister. I'm 19 years old and I'm from Temple, Texas, which is about maybe an hour from Austin. So I'll go to the juggling club every once in a while. I started juggling when I was about 10 because I was angry that everyone in my class could do it, but I couldn't. So my, I got my dad to teach me. It is more of me just being jealous and that's why I juggle. <laughs> Since I've been uh, prepping for circus school, maybe like eight hours a day. When I first started, it was even more than that. It was like 11 hours. I just whenever I wasn't doing anything, I would be juggling. Even when I was watching TV, I'll be juggling. I learned my warm-up routine from Emil Dahl. I start off with five balls, and I run it for maybe 400 catches or so, just so I know I have a really solid base pattern before I start trying anything harder. And I do the same with clubs and rings, and then I go into whatever it is that I want to do. Uh, sometimes I'll have a specific trick, like I'm not doing so well on back crosses anymore, so I gotta start practicing those again. Maybe club control, like spinning a club and I can't do a single spin with five or something like that. Well, right now, I actually don't do a lot of practicing moves as much as I do just throwing around stuff and hoping I can make something else. Maybe I designate like 10 tricks to a hour. I'll start with one practice it for a little bit. If I start to get a little worse, then I'll go over to the next one, and the next one, next one, next one, and then I'll feed back, and then maybe go through them both twice or three times. So let's say I'm practicing seven balls. So I'll pick up nine and work at nine for maybe two hours. Just because once I move back to seven, then it'll feel so much easier Then I can like feel like I'm making more progress than I am in a way. I think it, it does work. That's how I, I learned seven and nine. The most efficient way, I think, to work at something until you start to like get worse at it because I know some people who will just practice one trick for maybe an hour and just drop it every single time. I used to do that, don't get me wrong, but it's probably not the best thing to reinforce that uh, when I can do it at least nine out of ten times. I want to make sure I can do nail my tricks on stage clean. I learned that from my coach, Richard Kennison. Shout out. Yeah, but uh, that's just his rule and I just took it and kept it because I liked it. Watch a lot of videos of jugglers doing the tricks you want to do. The only jugglers I knew existed when I was 11 was Chris Bliss and Anthony Gatto. And very different jugglers. It does help to watch both of them do their different things. It helps to see a visual of it so you can like look back and be like, uh, maybe I should angle Alberts like this. It, it just helps a lot to watch other jugglers. And also, if you have a club near you, I would check that out. Because uh, if there's a club near you, that would have saved me so much more time. If you search my name on YouTube, you will find me on YouTube. If you search my name on Instagram, it's literally at Zach McAllister. So luckily for me, nobody else famous has that name or like nobody else has that name on Instagram. So I guess I have a Twitter, but I never use it because I don't, I don't get it. But And then I also have Facebook, which I, I'll post on the, there's a group juggling rock. I'll post on that a lot uh, whenever I have a trick and I'm like, I'm not sure how good this is, so I'm not sure if I should expand on it. So I'll post it out there and try and get some feedback from people uh, to see if I should keep working at it. Yeah. That's awesome. So, That's all yeah. the questions. Cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem.